And now we have also from Incubo, uh, Rafael Koffer, trying to tell you that life is too short for building engines. So let's give him a big hand. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to say something about the one fact which came from the long time of my experience. That's from target point of view. Life is too short for the building engines. Uh, so uh, I had a chance to build a lot of engines for, for the uh, Game Boy Advance, uh, for uh, dual screen Game Boy. I tried to build some um, amazing universal system for the graphics, for the music, for, for many kind of uh, necessary stuff which should be contained into the game. Uh, so, so now my concern is that, that life is too short for spending the time. It's better to spend the time for, for making the, 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 the goal of your target. So uh, I'm going to say something about the general functionality requirements uh, that engine should have. Then I, I'm going to, 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 to say some uh, how we want to use, uh, what, what is the typical usage of these engines. Then uh, how to keep in the proper balance between components. And then I, I, I will try to, to give you some advice, some, some, some life tips. At the end of the presentation, uh, I'm going to, to uh, say something about the, um, our product uh, behind the back-end, front-end, what we're using, what we, what we use it to build, uh, or, or in infrastructure, or, or uh, all the stuff. Uh, and uh, uh, for the one year, what we, what we have today. So, so uh, let's start. Uh, engine functional requirements. So what engine should have? I think that each engine should have a motion, yes? So uh, uh, it's typical requirements for, for the engine, so here you have an example. Uh, also should have a power. I got a power. I, I, I'm able to do a lot of uh, things with, with that power. Sometimes we need a speed, yes. So this engine have a possibility to, to, to over the power, have a, the right speed, because we want to fly, for example. Sometimes we need a scalability. Yes, today is very important for the cloud uh, uh, um, technology. We have another time long time ago, just uh, one engine was quite enough. Today it's not, it's a hybrid. Uh, it's, it's, it's requirements for the uh, linking uh, resources uh, and so on. And sometimes we really, really need a lot of power because we want to go to the space. So uh, that I think is quite a big engine. Okay, uh, more or less typical usage of, of these engines. So where we could use these engines. There's an example, if you wanna. Mom, mom, could you pick me up to the school? So today the normal car is not enough, I think, so we have, you need some, something like this. Oh, just kidding, of course, so, so that, that's an mm, example. Or like that. Also, we have uh, some application and uh, quite good engines, jet engines, and also the bicycle. Bicycle. So, if you like, no problem. It's a no problem. Uh, how to keep in a proper balance between the application, engine framework, runtime, and money. Uh, as we said before, uh, the balance is very important. When we 
want to put effort to the, to the making the engines or making the application, what kind of runtime use and how many money we have, how rich we are. So this is uh, very important to, to find out this balance. So I'm going to say some story from my experience. So general question is, do you really want to be enterprise? Uh, about seven years I spent uh, uh, working in the JBoss uh, environments in Java. Uh, I'm not going to flame the Java because it's a quite um, big, uh, not engine, not fra framework. It's a runtime. It's a huge possibility on potentially library which people create. But you need to pay a lot of, for the, for, 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 uh, you need to pay the, a lot of, uh, for the RAM results, uh, and uh, th there is a problem. Uh, you see, this is a Russian train. It does a train, yes, but has a jet engines. And it's a, com compared to, to the, this cold stack. Uh, when you build very huge application and use a thousand, uh, maybe not a thousand, hundred of, of, of the libraries, it's very, very hard to debug. Uh, it's very, uh, very hard to ma maintain this software. So if, you, 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 mm, if you're going to, to, to make some, some small things, don't join to the big engines because you, you blow up and, and you have a trouble during the uh, deploying, uh, during, during the uh, uh, maintaining of that. And sometimes uh, if you really want to fly, no problem, but I, I, I'm scared about this car, uh, avionic of this car and, and so on. I hope uh, the balance between the bra uh, brakes and, and, and this engine is, 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 uh, is Mm, it's on the zero, so uh, mm, the brakes will be able to, to working with this engine. So I hope, but I don't know. So that's what I was saying about the balance. So real life tips uh, after these years of, of working on the, for the corporation, for, for the company, which, which just be focused on the really big, uh, big uh, uh, runtime. Uh, I have real, realized that what we what is important uh, in the project is uh, in, in the general uh, group is a keep, keep it simple and stupid. Don't make uh, things very complicated because uh, other programmers uh, will not able to recognize what what you want to express. So. Um, this is very important if you work with, with the team. If you work uh, by yourself on, only for the, some product, it's not a problem. But uh, I, today I know that uh, things uh, which are very simple are very uh, recognizable by the others. And the second one of the important, I think, uh, um, focus on the real domain of your application, of, of the uh, focus on the problem, focus on the idea. In the case of Criteria, we are focused on the game flow, not, not on the engine, not on the uh, small uh, problems. Uh, we're trying to balance, still balance between the engine uh, requirements and possibility. Take the example of the other. Uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, companies, uh, groups, uh, which have a great software. Uh, I had a chance to working on the software from the Google, the Google Web, tool, Web Toolkit, uh, uh, App Engine, and, and, and so on. Mm, the guys have a quite good, uh, uh, good, uh, good uh, tips and, and, and good direction. Uh, so I think to take a look on the around, Take the example and just try to 
to implement inside your, your uh, solution. In special case, safe to, safe to the measure. Sometimes uh, the problem is that, uh, I don't know as you, but uh, uh, when I was a very young programmer, each time I'm, try, I'm trying to do stuff to tell a universal. So uh, this method, this function should be, uh, be, be prepared for using with that, with that component. Uh, and, and the problem, the time which has been spent for, 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 for the implementing will be much more than, uh, uh, than we want to, to, to be. Uh, so uh, this is very, very important to be, to, 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 to uh, uh, sometimes to save on the measure. So just exactly do what you need to do. <laughs> the last one, do not listen that the RAM is so cheap. Uh, many times I hear, oh, don't worry, Rafael, the RAM today is so cheap. Uh, I think this domain is, is not valid uh, in case of scalability. Uh, okay, if you buy one computer, uh, 32 giga gigs of the RAM, fine, but if you need the thousand of the computer, the, the, the RAM is still is not the cheap. And uh, mm, the problem is that the optimiza uh, optimization, uh, magic word optimization, still is valid. Try to, 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 to be uh, focused a little, little bit what is needed on the optimization. So, uh, language. Uh, typical for the language. I, uh, I had the experience in C, C++, uh, uh, Python, uh, uh, Java, uh, today also with the, with the JavaScript because it is a quite modern. Uh, language, uh, everybody uh, smile if I heard. Uh, did you program code in JavaScript? <laughs> yes, so mm, it's not so funny today. JavaScript is everywhere, like the Java. Java has a uh, uh, mm, Java saying that uh, the, there is uh, on the uh, billions of, of the devices. Yes, that's right, but JavaScript is going the same way, I think. So, so uh, this is not this is quite uh, very uh, very um, important language. Uh, try coding in the one lang as far as it is possible. Uh, I know uh, from um, experience that uh, the problem with the uh, linking uh, library. Uh, connecting uh, technology is a huge problem for uh, and then for uh, for for, for uh, maintain. Uh, so if that is possible, use just one language. I know not at all it is possible, but uh, it is better. Uh, typically, when you're using serialization, if you use uh, some some mm, uh, application which is. Uh, Client server, so this is the best way that the client is, has been written in the same language as the server because they talk in the same uh, language, so there is no any adapter serialization, deserialization problem, um, and, and this improves a lot of stuff. About complexity, which I said before, uh, keep uh, with the uh, keep it simple, stupid uh, pattern. Uh, the complexity. So maybe some of one say that C++ is the only one language on the world which is a proper language. Uh, I love this uh, also, um, but the problem is that the, this uh, language is for, for the professionals, not for, for the um, young programmers, uh, uh, especially the templates. Uh, you have a very huge scale of creating the templates, templates, recurrence of these templates, and many times I'm, I met the, the, the guys who, who, make, uh, who make the rise between which one of my method is more complicated than, than your. Does not make any sense, because the third uh, of some another 
developer will be not able to understand. Uh, Java, C Sharp, uh, .NET in the C Sharp, uh, all higher level language is j enough for doing everything what you need. Multi-inheritance multi in, uh, uh, also is not needed. You, you are able to, to do everything in a single inherit inheritance model. So avoid complexity. I talk with the people in native lang. So talk like me to you, uh, then uh, make some, some feedback. Mm, uh, don't close in yourself because uh, a lot of mm, people <laughs> in the company make something, not exactly what, but make something. Uh, just talk about the problem. And that's, I know it is quite obvious uh, what I'm talking about, but, but uh, it's, uh, it's important. Uh, now I'm going to say something about the, our product. From the front end to back end criteria, demystified. So, what has been chosen for reach the functionality at this, uh, uh, at this point, at this time? Uh, what kind of technology uh, we, we're using? Uh, so, some, it is some kind of advice for, for the guy who, who wants to start. Uh, so, as you see, there is a bunch of, of logos uh, that the companies uh, which has been involved uh, into the product. Uh, so, let's start to see what requirements uh, we have uh, from, from front end for the game application for the client. First one, and important, stay focused on the game flow. We are we, we want to make the game, not spend time for the engine, uh, not spend time for for some problems, uh, small problems, uh, some effects. We uh, we know it. What is the limits of the hardware of the tablets? Uh, now is it for the iPad? We uh, we are able to say okay, we, we could use this shader, but uh, not so complicated. Uh, but we need to to use. Uh, 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 some functionality in the limit, so this is important. And then uh, we're working on the game idea. Uh, we, the, we came with dream come true with the game, not the, not the, not the internal problems. Uh, portability, so we want to be on, 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 the, on each device, uh, uh, which is able to, to run the, the, the native code. Uh, mobile, I mean my mobile. Uh, easy developer adaptation. So we want to, if we, our business uh, is a right direction where we, if, we, if we success it, we want to hire more developers and we want to uh, take care about uh, uh, these developers to, to understand our, our, our way and uh, our technology. Uh, Backend requirements. This is the uh, opposite side of the front end. So um, we don't know how many users we will have. So we know, so we have uh, some prediction, but uh, it is better to think on the beginning of. of, of uh, uh, design of the backend. Uh, scalability is today is important. Uh, this is good if your servers are able to be to be uh, scalable. Uh, the better one of the solution is that uh, scalable, auto scalable. So you don't need to put uh, human efforts to to make uh, uh, to add more servers. So it should be working automatically. Uh, without uh, without uh, any uh, disrupt, uh, easy ma uh, maintain um, some is some kind of part of infrastructure. Uh, so this next one of, of the important uh, thing in these uh, requirements, bit app not infrastructure. This uh, these words uh, came from the Heroku uh, mind site. Do you know the Heroku? Mm, Heroku is a very, very nice uh, uh, platform as service or uh, uh, serv uh, application which mm, 
provide you infra infrastructure and you just focus on the application, not on the build the infrastructure. So we have uh, uh, we take into account uh, the Heroku. So so uh, the idea is very good to to be focused on the application. Uh, easy environment adaptation. Uh, now uh, we choosing the Amazon Web Service, but I don't know exactly uh, if that uh, this is the or, or, uh, uh, last layer um, about the uh, about the vir virtualization of about, about the vir virtual servers. Uh, here you you have a small diagram, uh, whatever doesn't uh, uh, name. As you see, the application has been written in uh, based on, on the Unity engine. So the engine is uh, uh, quite good for for the for, for the mobile device. Uh, has a main uh, um, exactly has a that what we wanted to have a, a fundamental the physics engine. So uh, texture management and and sh showing the sprites. General is that what we needed? Not nothing more. Uh, the balance. Is fine, yes. Uh, then the, the the application will we can communicate with the server application. So uh, we chosen that uh, uh, this all service will be based on the Ama Amazon uh, virtualization. So uh, uh, Amazon also uh, refer the the elastic load balancer. Today is very important stuff because uh, the the. the this service is able to uh, to 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 distribute all requests from the clients to the uh, separate uh, servers. Uh, then we chosen very uh, very very um, light uh, lightweight technology. It wasn't Java. It's, it's not the Java. It's not the .NET. Uh, quite very very. Uh, uh, that way I say Java is fine, but. You will pay a lot of uh, for, for, for the memory, for the resources. That's a, that's a problem. We chose a Node.js, and I think uh, it was a very good uh, decision to, to, to use it. Because um, this technology does, uh, technology runtime, does not need uh, uh, a lot of resources. Uh, today, uh, our servers working on the micro instances. Uh, uh, micro instances is, is uh, uh, about 500 uh, megabytes of RAM. Uh, we are able to scale all these instances, uh, so we don't need the, the uh, huge uh, capacity of, of, of CPU. Uh, this one instance has uh, something about one gigahertz core. Uh, we are able to 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 uh, to be scalable, automatically scalable, scalable because the. Uh, Amazon Web Service is able to to detect if your instance is over uh, overloaded, uh, so uh, automatically the next instance will be uh, uh, launched. And uh, we are ready to to the wave of the users. So I hope <laughs> so. So uh, we are ready to to to, to not have a. a Surprised uh, mm, uh, events that oh, mm, our game does not work because the server are overloaded. So still we, we have uh, some balance. Uh, we using for the uh, database MongoDB. Why not uh, re re relation uh, re relation uh, model? Because is mm, because the MongoDB is very easy. To maintain, we don't need m very complicated model. We don't need the relation. Uh, we just need to store the data, data, and we we need to 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 fast query, uh, fast make the fast query uh, uh, about the uh, metadata. So that's uh, why we chose Mongo. Also, Mongo has a good uh, possibility to be sh to be uh, scaled. Uh, because have uh, some shards, you are able to shard each instance of the Mongo on the separate server, uh, uh, and this will be balanced. The data will be balanced inside the inside the Mongo 
uh, inside the MongoDB. As a cache, uh, we're using the Redis, is very, very fast, small uh, cache for, for, for uh, the, the mm, functionality of the Redis is a key value. Uh, so you, you, you just need to, to store something uh, about the key and is very fast and very scalable. So each of these element is scalable. Today it is very, very for important for if you want to uh, handle a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, people. So thank you very much uh, for, for the presentation. If you have uh, some questions, so go ahead.